Hi, Mario here. First, I want to thank my patrons for making this work possible. Over the last years, we have worked very hard to complete our theory. It all started with the orientation of ancient structures, which finally led to a larger overarching theory. You might not have noticed much of this work, however, behind the scenes a lot of work has been done. And many of our suspicions have been confirmed. Our theory is now more complete than it has ever been. Did you ever ask yourself any of the following questions? What was Homo sapiens doing all these hundreds of thousands of years? Only splitting stones? And only in the last 1% of this huge time span did we start to build magnificent pyramids, airplanes, rockets and skyscrapers? And there are other questions. Why don't we see huge land animals like dinosaurs anymore? The largest land animal that we recognize now is maybe an elephant or a giraffe. Have you ever wondered about this? Are dinosaurs really extinct and died out millions of years ago? Or did they evolve into ever smaller creatures like contemporary reptiles and birds? Most people have never even questioned why such mega monsters existed only in the distant past. Did you watch the Jurassic Park movies? Of course you did. Do you regard it as normal that these beasts easily walk around? It looks normal because computer animations made it look normal. This is fake science supported with visual and audio overload of the human brain, which causes our logic to malfunction. Computer animations make almost everything look normal and possible. The science and the math have completely disappeared in Hollywood movies and even the smartest scientists watch these movies with utmost fascination. Do you know what happened to a stranded will? It collapses under its own weight due to our current gravity. Guess what? The same would happen if dinosaurs were still living and walking today. We have thoroughly studied the topic of the dinosaurs' gravity and the expanding Earth and have come to grips with some of the most pressing questions. We have looked at the best studies and papers available regarding bone structures and stresses involving dinosaurs and we found what seems to be constantly ignored in these studies. And that is buckling. Pressure is never the critical point in reconstructing the stress on a dinosaur skeleton. It is buckling and it is buckling alone that is the critical aspect. But most scientists have a blind spot when it comes to buckling. Not a single scientist, researcher or engineer has ever studied buckling and how a dinosaur skeleton would behave regarding buckling when subjected to our current gravity. Static buckling is relatively easy, but the dynamics behind buckling is amazingly complex. Currently, even the most advanced studies are not capable to simulate the complexity of dynamic buckling because it would take too much computer power and would make the study too expensive. But more powerful computers will eventually make it easy to simulate the complexity of a running T-Rex. In the study we are showing here is buckling not simulated because that is still too complex. Only lateral pressure on the thinnest cross section of bones are studied. And pressure alone exceeds the maximum allowable pressure for short moments. Longitudinal forces 
are the forces that run in the lengthwise direction through the bone. We have made an analysis of the dynamic forces acting on the critical parts of a T-Rex skeleton. And we discovered some very interesting things. We will publish these discoveries on our Patreon page in the class Specialties. Let us look at another piece of our jigsaw puzzle. Did you know that at one time the Mayans had a 260-day calendar? We've discovered the reason behind this mystery, and it is not what we read on the Wikipedia pages. We made a reconstruction of the Mayan calendar, starting with when and why this calendar was made. We will also publish this discovery on our Patreon page. The work and the amazing discoveries that we are now making are thanks to the great support of my patrons. I am able to dedicate most of my time to this work and the fruits of this labor are very evident because they fill many glaring holes in our expanding theory. The latest discoveries are becoming crucial to make our holistic mathematical theory more complete. On our website we have still a long list of ancient structures to work with. My Unlock Secret Content patrons receive the password to access these articles on our website. The articles explain how incredibly old ancient structures are and how they were probably used. Our ancient history intertwines like a great tapestry and is deeply connected to the history of the expanding Earth. Did you know that there has been an exhaustive study on soft tissue that was found in dinosaur bones? Soft tissue, unless treated with special chemicals and then further sealed for preservation, completely deteriorates even under the best circumstances in less than one million years. This means that the age of the soft tissue of the T-Rex fossils under study is far younger than previously thought, and that is most probably far younger than one million years. The greatest mystery or question in the expanding Earth theory is where is all the matter coming from? We have done thorough research on this topic and are a little shocked by what we found. We think that we have solved the big question of where all the matter is coming from to enable Earth and some of the other planets as well to start small and become progressively larger. Our theory is very much enhanced with this new development. It is very much in line with what ancient cultures depicted regarding these associated catastrophes. That also is important. Expansion cycles are probably much younger than we ever expected and are probably much more violent than we ever expected. We will publish more regarding these discoveries that will be shared in my specialties class. You can join my special class, All the Data, and get access to our database of ancient structures that is the foundation of all our discoveries. It is downloadable as a monthly update. This highest class gives you, of course, also access to the other classes. The amount of available slots are limited. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to welcome you at my Patreon page. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you!